So, right. Um, pre market price, does it affect how the stock is going to go? Not really. Um, it's, uh, it, it can be an indication, but you can you can get what's known as a gap and go. So it, it moves up pre-market and then it, uh, it's, uh, it, it actually rallies out of the blocks. And uh, if that's the case, then that's the gap and go. But you've also got the, cap, the gap and crap, which is the opposite. And uh, well, not quite the opposite, but it's, uh, it moves up before pre-market and then it just sells off. So it reaches its peak in the uh, in the pre-market and then sells off as soon as the uh, the market opens so there's you've got to be careful with that which is why as the bell as the bell hits sometimes it's better to just wait for five minutes let the opening range candle five minute opening range form and then see which way it goes if uh, if it starts trading within that range as soon as it breaks out either the the high of the uh, the opening session or, or, or the low, it then is a good indicator of which way it's going to go, certainly in the short term. Um, but uh, pre-market isn't necessarily an indicator of, of what it's going to do after the bell. It's a good indicator if it's moving up and it's moving up with good volume. Uh, and the reason I say that is that if there's a catalyst and it's moving up, it, that catalyst usually continues the momentum after the bell. It's when there's not when the catalyst is very weak or, or there is no catalyst at all. So let me just uh, so those are scanners are done there on TikTok. Just need to um, do them for. Uh, YouTube and Twitch now. And I will get my music back up. Let me get the chat open. It's always great when you have a technical issue like that, isn't it? second i'll be back with you in just a moment just opening the uh the tick just opening the chat now uh the volatility volatility is missing um it's, it's not great alistair uh, you know we're uh We've not got great volatility today. There's a couple of decent movers, and that's about it, really. So. Scanners back up here. There we go.
right okay let's move this across there so i can actually do something with it and let's get this set up properly now Bath and Beyond still on the scanners. Okay, now, volume scanner. Momentum scanner. Technology is wonderful when it works. There we go. All good. Again. Now, BRNA. What we were trading, and we got a breakout whilst all that was happening. We've got 16 minutes to the bell, guys. 16 minutes to the bell. Well, we're back. Um, we're back at it. Okay, so uh, aside from VRNA, have I missed anything whilst I, whilst I got so rudely interrupted from uh, shouldn't take 24 hours to switch it on. I've just got a notification from CMEG that it's going to be tomorrow. I'm not happy with that at all. Well, that's all right. It gives us the ability to um, get the month's goal today and then we can kick off the, the small account challenge tomorrow. I'm not happy with that. I'll have another. I'll, I'll get it back in touch with them on the. Um, I'll call them. I've been emailing them and stuff and doing the the chat, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call them afterwards after this stream. Well, Marion, the, um, the top was certainly not thirty eight, fourteen thirty eight. Let's... 
If I could get, get the um, RM, uh, RTMP stream, uh, keys for uh, for TikTok, I'll be able to stream directly and it wouldn't be a problem. It would be a lot clearer for everybody. $14. Needs to hold $14. Got. Well, we're in a better position than we were this time yesterday. How are we getting on, guys? Nearly 5,000 likes. She's not had a first treat yet. Still fast asleep on the couch, on the sofa. Oh, well, that's a nice breeze coming through. Well, you've got priorities there, Alistair. So missing your, you're on the cruise, on the deck of a cruise ship with your family, uh, in the sunshine, wine on tap, quality wine on tap, and um, you're missing trading. Come on, I know it can be addictive, but priorities, dude. It'll still be here when you get back. The market's going nowhere. I can see this moving out of the blocks. So we've got 20, 10 minutes left, 12 minutes left to the bell. I'll just take a quick comfort break. AMC. Let's have a look at AMC. Hitting the momentum scanners. For twenty-four dollars, breaking even now. Alves not doing much at all it's just just ranging sideways around the two dollar level so neville this is how biz right now it's just just sideways choppy sideways uh it's got a kind of a 10 cent range it's not doing much at the moment two it's around two dollars it's up 25 percent on the day um, you can see the vwap being pretty much horizontal means it's just moving sideways so Watch this at the bell, it might move, might not. But it's not really doing much at the moment. Back to AMC, come on. Watch an AMC on the two minute as well as the one minute. It needs to hold this uh, twenty four dollars. It's a beautiful day, Tony. So here's me. There you go. You can have your treat now. You walk up. You look how I look every morning when I get up. When you wake me. Here you go. Have your little little biscuit, whatever it is. There you go. And uh, if we get if we get to six thousand, 
If we're not too far away, we'll probably get to 6,000 by the end of the stream. If we get to 6,000, you can have another one. Double tree. Matt alone will probably give you a thousand likes on his own, so. To be fair, Alice, the small gains are how it's done. You, you know, base hits and all that kind of stuff. So it's all right swinging for the fences, but if it goes against you, as we saw last week, when it goes against you and you swing for the fences, it's, um, it can be devastating. You just go for the base hits, and then when you when you do get a home run, it's it's nice. There we, here we go. So AMC, we're, we're, we're held over. Um, not enough volatility for me right now. M might move out of the out of the blocks. So I think I'll watch that out of the blocks. Ah, that's that's no trade there. But RX, that's way down. It's probably not tradable. So I was just looking for something else to try. APDN is... And you know, on time. Not like I've got places to be. about time so we're below the VWAP now it's still of interest we pretty much pretty much timed our exit to, to perfection on this one all right we, we missed a little bit off the top 10 cents yeah Yeah, 10 so we, we could have got an extra 10 cents at the well maybe not yeah we, we're pretty much timing this to perfection and it's a spreads of six cents so there's only 10 cents from my last uh my last position to the high so four what's four cents between friends no one million is not high um, so you, you check the you, you check the data, you check the information. So I use Benzinga for all of that information. Uh, one, a one million float stock is is very low actually. Uh, I like to trade those micro micro float stocks. So million shares is is very very low. So uh, a high float stock, we're talking billions. If you go to um, Bank of America, we, we're talking billions of shares. A low float stock is and what I tend to look for. Uh, for because you get more volatility in low float stock so a low float stock will be something under 100 million so if it's under 100 million preferably under 10 million then you can pretty much get good volatility and good moves on on the intraday range so if you've got good volume and volatility on a stock that's under 100 million the, the moves are, are good enough to um the moves are usually good enough to take advantage of it's not right Bed Bath and Beyond, it's above the VWAP, it's moving up. Twelve dollars. Interesting. Interesting point for Bed Bath and Beyond will be like thirteen forty. Thirteen dollars. Do I see a high probability winner here at the bell? Nah. 
I'm watching a number of them. I'm thinking uh, Verona's probably the one with the most momentum. AMC's looking like it's trying to come good now as well. I sound like a bloody commentator on the horse racing. Uh, but And that's the whole point of having the scanners in front of me. So I have the scanners. It tells me exactly what's moving, how much it's moving, on what time frame. Uh, and... Uh, I'm able to jump on the back of that. I've got on top of that, I've got my signals, which will tell me, you know, what's spiking up by how much on the, on a minute by minute basis. I've got my news, uh, rolling news. So anything comes down on the rolling news, um, potentially I can uh, I can see that before it then hits the price action. The AVDL that move up was hit on the uh, on the price action, but there's no volume there. There's, there's no no trade there at all. What's Veru doing on the scanners? Not great volume either. But up at twelve dollars. So Veru, 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 Veru. How do you pronounce it? I don't know. NVIDIA. I'm going to have a look. Look at this on the 15th. Because you had a big sell-off yesterday. Bad earnings. A um, bit of a bounce. And then it's breaking lows. So NVIDIA's dead at 172. If you're trying to day trade it or swing trade it, then it's not a good time. If you're in it long term, personally, not financial advice, just my own personal opinion. If you're in it long term, Nvidia is a good stock. It's it will come good. It, it's just had bad earnings. This uh, circumstantial bad earnings, uh, market conditions, etc. And um, I would say that it's still personally, I think it's still a good long term hold. It's a good long term buy. I'm bullish on Nvidia, but. It depends. Are you looking to make quick gains? Then it's probably not right. Look for a bounce uh, on the daily. I don't think it's exhausted yet, but that's a big gap down. So wait till it looks exhausted, then look for signs of uh, maybe on the on the 60 minute chart or, or, or something. Look for signs of a, a, a reversal and then swing it. Nvidia is a good stock to swing, actually. Hey, Penn State. Good to see it. Oh, shh. If Kathy Woods just got deep into NVIDIA, her picks this year have been absolutely atrocious. Everything she's touched has turned to shit. So uh, maybe I should change my mind. <laughs> I might, I might just think it's going to be a good That's about... Then the... Uh, Scanners over to the regular market. There's a the scanners over to the regular market, and away we go. So let's have a look. How are we gonna zoom, or are we gonna sell? Fourteen fifty. That one, it's. 2340, 2350. I'm not doing anything. Let, let some time sink in for the scanners. Let's have a look at Eli Lilly's moving up. NWS is the first volatility halt that I'm seeing. That moved up. No, no volume, but that's the first volatility halt that I've seen. Needs to break the half dollar. AMC selling off. APDN's moving up above the view up again. Let's see. 
Teacup just gone floating around the green level. Good luck, guys. Not really seeing the early momentum just yet. Be nice if we did. Remember to hit the uh, smash the thumbs up button if you're on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube. Looking for a bit of momentum. So Verona's kind of got, I didn't get in at 14.50 for the break. Just weren't feeling it. Moves up this time. We might we might take a look. Bit of a fake out there on the uh, on the five minute. Now we've got fourteen sixty is the uh, is the high fourteen fifty seven is the high of uh, is the session high. Got pre market high of fourteen seventy five, so that's important. Um, how do I get around the twenty five k account balance pattern day trading rules, Tony? Well, the first. The, the first um, way of doing it is have more than $25,000. I've got, starting today, I had $113,000 in my account. So it doesn't really apply to me. However, the second way of doing it is trade with an offshore broker. Uh, I'm trading with Capital Markets Elite Group. They're not regulated out of the US. So you can trade with Capital Markets Elite Group and not be subject to the patent day trading rule. Um, most brokers in the UK and Europe uh, don't, succumb to with the in, exception of interactive brokers who will um who will implement the the pdt rule uh and the third way of doing it is trading a cash account if trading a cash account it's only only applies to margin accounts so if you're trading a cash account the problem that you've got then is the t plus two settlement rule so you can only trade uh say trade half your equity today half tomorrow or you trade all your equity today and then have to wait till the day after tomorrow to trade again so there's ways around it the easiest way around it is have more than twenty five thousand dollars or trade with an offshore broker like capital markets elite group cmeg i will be trading with um C i'm just waiting for them to activate them. they've got the money and everything else for uh a small account challenge just waiting for them to activate the account uh and then this is just sideways now at the minute there we go that's not what i wanted to do range on this is mad by the dip didn't get filled Partial fill. Come on, fill me. Yeah, it got filled. Just holding this. No problem where, uh, well, This is quite volatile, but it's not moving in a trend. So this is why this is not great. I need this above, uh, need to get this above 440, ideally above 450. We did get the breakout, but then if we got faked out. So as soon as it, so we got in for the, uh, for the break of highs on the five minute, and then it faked us out. We just bought the dip with a view to moving back up. Just, sideways ranging at the moment the 
whole whole dollar range. This is uh, Verona. Is the company trading under the ticker VRNA? We've got ten thousand shares at the moment. Our, our average cost is is fourteen forty. So we're we're waiting. For, we're looking for a move back up here. And 35 on the on the ask so we need need the bid to go with it had 1440 on the ask already Just need the bid to go with it and then break the half dollar no break the half dollar not the whole dollar the whole dollar's the wrong direction come on don't be silly Go big or go home. Always, always. I'm not that. I'm not going that big though, uh, Alistair. Just because um, yeah, I've been doing lots of like two and a half, five thousand over the last uh, last few weeks. But I went when I went big. I went twenty five thousand last Thursday. Twenty five thousand shares. And that went against me. So that was a bit bit of a pain. Lost a lot of money on that one last Thursday. Took until yesterday to uh, to claw that drawdown back. So now we're at the highs we were at the end of um, at the end of Wednesday. Close of business Wednesday. And we're a little bit more better in a little bit higher than what we where we were in the terms of PL on at close of business on Wednesday. Only by about seven hundred dollars or something, but still come on Alistair it wasn't 65 it was 64 plus change let's get it right But I did get a large chunk of that back later in the day. This is just ranging sideways. It's not looking very attractive to me at all. Thought we might get a gap and go, but in fact, nothing's really moving upwards at the moment. It's very sideways market. Geovax is moving up. I'll jump. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at that in a second when I've um, when I get out of this trade. This could go either way right now. It's uh, there's no specific pattern one way or the other. We're getting higher lows, lower highs. It's a, a narrowing, narrowing triangle, narrowing pennant. On the lower end of the narrowing pennant, no, so that's the problem. So I'm thinking this is going to go, go south. Oh, I've got my stop in there at 13.75. If it goes south, I've got a stop there at 13.75. It's fine. Um, I don't think I'm going to. I'm not going to. Yeah, I got stopped out there. So that's that's the main thing. Look for movement elsewhere. Where's 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 Geovax? That 
moved up. Pulling back now. Novavax. What's it got? Earnings today? I think it has earnings today. Is it today or tomorrow? Let's have a quick look. Novavax was yesterday. Novavax had earnings yesterday. Sold off hard. And now we're getting a, a reversal. Needs to get over 44. 43.75. Hey Miami, how are you doing? Looking for the 50 cents. Count the quarter dollar. Spreads are 10 cents. Just be careful of the spreads. A nice little flag formation. It's not moving quickly enough for my liking, so I'm just going to get out. Look for something with. Um, Look, we saw something with a bit more volatility or volume. No, if it breaks out just as I, just as I got out, that's just uh, typical, isn't it? This could either go my way or it might crush me today. Just got in at the top end of a double double top like an idiot. Be busy watching the price and not the pattern. I said I want to go my way. This is a um, double top.
Dykes 44 will not be okay. I'm buying and selling more. I'm buying it and then selling it. That's what you do when you're a day trader. But if you're asking what am, am I going long or am I going short, then I'm going long on uh, Novavax. It's it's reversing, so I Jesus. How have I managed to get such a big position on Novavax? top as I, as I warned. Not my day today. I got in there and I didn't look at the pattern. It was a double top pattern and uh, I should have paid attention to that. I shouldn't be getting in there ready on the way up of a second um, second peak of a double top. Oh well, I've just created a hole I need to trade my way out of now. Not how I wanted to start the day, but let's see what's moving. Get our money back if we're getting above fourteen dollars here. It's just choppy sideways. Let's look for something else. Ouch! No volume. Okay, so let's have a look at um, Masana. Oh, nice. Masana, GSK, buy a book deal for cancer focus therapy. What's that one? Sana Therapeutics announced that he's got a collaboration with GlaxoSmithKline in an exclusive option to co-develop and commercialize. Um, okay, that's a good, that's a good enough catalyst for me. for the break of the quarter dollar new highs amc needs to get green on the day um i reckon i'll put up it gets above 24 amc could be good for today I need the bathroom.
Volatility is not so great today at the moment. Not at the levels that I look at. Oh, your AMTD is moving up. It's a 323s now, AMTD. Oh, we're 710 on the ask, which is our average cost. Need it to move up. Current high is 720. High of day. High of session. High of day. That's my dog snoring away. Well, that Novavax, uh, I did get stopped out. That's the whole point. I put a stop loss in place and it uh, hit the stop loss. <laughs> That's a mad, massive bag you're holding there. Oh shit, I'm not paying attention. When I get out, I brought $7. I didn't put my stop loss in place. There we go. Go big or go home. Yeah, there's a, there's a delay on the on the YouTube broadcast. There's a delay on the TikTok broadcast. I think the YouTube with latency is a little bit more uh, than it is on TikTok. Let's go big or let's go home. Uh, we can put a trailing stop loss on there. Put that trailing stop loss on when I go to the bathroom.
move that stop loss to a 10 cent trailing stop instead of a 20 it's just a little bit tranquil this move it's not the range is not that big so may as well get 500 out of it <laughs> now we'll stop take there so that's all right we've got an extra 500 out of that so 17 1700 on um, Masana Therapeutics. A quick look at what Novavax is doing now. It's sold off. It did move back up and it reached a high of 4440. Go figure. Dias making a comeback. What's all this about? Well, oh, very low volume. Get that. AMTD. Just for you, Elko North. That was a nice little move. 285 up to 330. Nice 50 cent move. Struggling for good momentum today. Red Bath and Beyond sold off. AMC is in the red. It's a very choppy day today, guys. APDM moved up and then moved back. Not getting a lot of good movement, really. Barbecues on low volume. Oh no, that's a, that's an acquisition or a something. Small at lower price one than um, Helbiz. Like these lower price stocks. It's probably one of the top gappers that's actually making a move. got the vol volatility that I'm looking for there so that was a hard sell off then a bounce Okay. Are there any news out? I think we're all. I think most of the market's probably waiting for the CPI results tomorrow. The CPI numbers come out tomorrow, and that um, might perk up the market in terms of volatility. Right now, there's not much moving at all. Very choppy. Most of the moves were pre-market and then it's just sideways chop since pre-market on low volume as well. Nope. Nope. Lemonade. Not traded that for a long while. good yeah but Miami we had a, a wonderful week last week volatility all over the place and uh, you couldn't you couldn't miss last week you you know you swung a cat five yards and you were hitting something that was moving up on a parabolic momentum <laughs> breakfast 
breakfast wine. <laughs> I've heard I've heard lots of things, but breakfast wine. Mind you, you know, Bucks Fizz is, uh, is is classed as a breakfast drink, isn't it? Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I should uh, should be drinking wine at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> Fair play to you. Can you hear me on YouTube? I've got zero chat on YouTube. Is there, um, is there an issue? Can you still see me on YouTube? Is it still transmitting? Let me see. If so. Oh, I've still got a bunch of people. It's just just very quiet. I guess, uh, I guess most of you people on YouTube are in the chat on TikTok. So... Gonna be one of those slow, methodical days. I think I was gonna go out and bask in the sun, but I think I'm gonna stick around and uh, look for a bit of momentum. Ah, cheers, Neville. Just uh, it was a bit quiet over there. I just wanted to make sure that you were um, being looked after. Yeah, I'm not. It's broke through the um, the seven dollars now, so I'm a little bit on the VWAP. So if it, uh, it bounces up there, fine. I can uh, I can well imagine. Look, Alistair, it's not a problem unless you call it one. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> My drink problem is I can't get enough. It needs to hold seven dollars this sauna therapeutics now it's now it's finding resistance at seven just a couple of you know Buy ratings from the analysts. It's the um, buy a book deal for uh, cancer focus therapy with um, with GlaxoSmithKline. I thought that was that was a good catalyst. Let's see, will we get a breakout to the upside? I'll try it. I'm not risking a, a huge amount. It took a while to get filled. I'm having that quite a lot this last couple of days. It's just very slow to get filled. I have to change my um, change my market route, all right. Put a stop in there just under seven dollars. Let's see if it moves up. I don't know. Get this to move the highs. That'd be nice. trailing stop on this at the minute oh 
or in profit at least. Let's see what happens. Base hits. Up, up and away, it'd be nice into a into a volatility halt at 770. That would be perfect. Slow and steady gains. That's what we that's all we need. Slow and steady gains. day pull back a little bit too far be quiet you just see there's someone moving in across the street gold will go up gold always goes up it's a it's a it's a storage it just doesn't go up with the with the market it goes up but it's better in more in times of volatility Yeah, we heard you the first time, Thayer. We heard you gold will go up. It's a store of it's a, it's a decent store of value. That's why people always resort to buying gold when in times of uh, uncertainty. Okay, Ben. Bonzo. Bonzo is this stock right now with the momentum. Big momentum too. It sold off hard yesterday. S&P 500 has moved towards commodities investing. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Mo. The S&P 500 is 500 of the uh, selected st of, of 500 of the of the top stocks on the uh, on the exchange companies. Not sure how you would get commodities into the S&P 500. I had, um, had some nice gin and tonic over the weekend. It was lovely. Ginger and rhubarb gin. Okay. Well, let's go back to MSRN. We're making a move up. Slow but surely. Got a few messages here. Get onto them later. for 730 727 is the previous handle high oh 
Well, I'm just waiting for the confirmation. We've got this little flag here on uh, on the five minute. Look at the five minute. We've got a little flag forming. Lower highs, higher lows. So just waiting for the breakout on that on the five minute. Or even on the two minute. Just looking for the confirmation. Problem is the volume's not great at the moment. So I might just give this a miss until the volume comes back in. 70,000 shares a minute. Not ideal. If we get, if we get a bit of volume coming that comes in, then we might get an upswing. But otherwise, it's a bit risky without the volume. Sunworks. Intelligent Living. Let's have a look at uh, Intelligent Living. I missed the double bottom here. That's okay. I'll be in, there's always another trade. Always another trade. It's just going to take some time, this one today, I think. Patience. That is swinging out of the... Swinging out of the... Um, out of the open. Which is what I was doing with Novavax and um, Verona. Let's have a look at those two. That's sold off. That's sold off. So, my own fault for holding on to it too long. APDN sold off. Good RX sold off. There's a common theme <laughs> emerging here. Bed Bath sold off. Going Pharmaceutical sold off. Kind of got green now. AMC. Down. A common theme here. Just lacking that volatility, guys. Severe lack of volume as well. Yeah. Hmm, Sega. This one's up seven and a half percent. And not heavy, not high momentum. The momentum stocks we like to see, ideally. Sega. Sega to deliver 26 million of monkeypox therapy to the US in 2023 after the option exercise. So Sega announces barter exercise of procurement options valued at 26 million for IVT pox. So that was this morning. Surprised it didn't move earlier. That was 7.30 in market time. Would you ever go whistle with your advertising your crappy dating sites we don't know what is interested in your dating sites wonder if it actually works for them they're going to spam people's chat on youtube and Pulling back now. Might get a bounce at the VWAP. 2350 or something. Just struggling for things to trade. It's not a great trading day today. I mean, normally I'd see that the, the, my signal scan is usually moving fairly quickly in terms of uh, high of day activity price spikes up, spikes down, that kind of stuff, and it's it's, it's vir virtually not moving at all. Hmm. 
No. Just not getting anything. And I'm just, just whipping through the signals as they're coming through. Obviously, there's no volume attached to these signals. This is just price spikes. Red Bath and Beyond, no. I thought it might be making a bit of a reversal. No, doesn't look like it. And then why don't, let's have a quick look at the markets whilst we're here. So the S&P 500, let's put it on the 15 so we can see where we're doing. It's uh, Since yesterday, it's, it's kind of downwards trending. It's not heavy down, but it's downwards trending. Uh, the Dow Jones, similar kind of thing. Got a side, sideways choppy Dow Jones. Russell Index, this is important to us. This is down heavy. This is over a, this is 100 base points down already so russell index not looking great that's why we can't find anything and small cap index is down nasdaq's down even harder so bioscience and things nasdaq's down uh 1.3 percent so the wider market's having a bit of a bearish day uh we might get some we might get a bit more volatility and momentum a little bit later sunwork seems to be doing something no or not well we're just struggling to find things to trade maybe maybe after i come up come back after walking the dog will be something to trade i'm not feeling really optimistic the way things are at the moment kind of a the way things are right now, it's um, an up and down day. Yesterday's gains given back in, in, in losses today, so back, back to square one. Let's see what happens. Plenty of time yet. Why is this moving? Three quarter dollar level could be significant. Oh, just filled the gap. So four sixty was was a, a key level. The gap on the uh, on the daily. Four sixty from um, four fifteen. So we just broke that. Right. Goldman Sachs maintains a sell on Atara, Atara Biotherapeutics. Yesterday's yes, yeah, so a good earnings yesterday, Atara. Missed the break. Or 75 I was looking for, but I'll wait till the whole dollar, see what happens. If it's strong enough, it'll break the whole dollar and continue, but if not, it might get rejected. Let's have a look. Have a watch. Whilst I'm looking at the scanners for something else to trade. Yeah, the um, CPI data comes out tomorrow, Chesney. It's a slow day. It's a difficult day today. Don't need love, Falister. I've got I've got a chow chow. Okay, let's go back to Sega. Sega Tech. Uh, what kind of a noise is that? That's not even a growl. No, you've got to exhale if you're going to growl. You can't inhale and growl. It sounds like a drum. Surely. We're nearly at 6,000 likes. If you get another 400 likes before the, uh, the stream ends, you can have another treat. We've got seven minutes. 
they did get events around this 2360s levels. 2362. So the uh, new app is at 2355. I might. We'll see. This is. Uh... After, there we go. Clean back now. Why that's moving up when all the analysts are saying sell? Well, of course that makes sense. Analysts say sell, so what do you do? You buy. What do the analysts know? Good man, man. <laughs> Here you go. You can have a big one. There you go. Nice big piece for you. You will wag your tail. Oh, you've got to wag your tail. How's your how's your mat? It's failing after the how, how's your dog faring after yesterday? Yes. Absolutely, MD. It's a bit slow. It's just slow going. There's just nothing moving. All right, well, that's pulling back. Where's Sega going? Go on. We'll break 24. I'll take it. I'll Look for the break of the whole dollar here. Maybe get 20 cents out of it. Yeah, good stuff. Well, I hope it's um I hope the results are good.
Didn't you went stop hunting after I got in? That's what it was. Now you're just being rude. Well, there's not a lot I can do about that. Sorry, Soul Reaper. Try watching on YouTube. Open the YouTube, you can see better, or Twitch. Alright, are we going to get a nice move up now? Come on. Stop teasing me. Silly there, um, Alistair. Fair play to you. Uh, well, based on today's performance, I don't think you want to take it. Would... <laughs> yeah, that moved up nicely. Oh, uh, look, I'm going to go for a walk, I think. Uh, come back later, take a look at what, what's moving, if anything. Otherwise, I'll just put it put it down to a, a bad day. And uh, just goes to show, easy come, easy go. It can uh, it can come as, well, as quickly as it goes, or vice versa. It can go as quickly as it comes. Yesterday, we took 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and we are up 10 grand. Today, we've taken an hour, and uh, we're down 10 grand. So it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, up and down so you just got to make sure that you manage your risk you're not going to be losing more than you can afford to lose as say today it was like okay we'll see what's what's happening uh but i'm just going to take the dog for a walk come back hopefully a little bit of volatility will come into the market this afternoon i'm not hopeful the way the market is at the moment but if we get something then i'll be calling it out in the discord uh for for anybody that's on the day trade with tony course and uh, i'll be calling out the patterns as well not signals just my observations that's all i'll be doing so uh, not signals or alerts but uh, just my observations so uh not financial advice don't sue me so um yeah guys i'll be uh, i'll be back at it for power hour tonight i'll be back for 8 p.m my time which is uh, 3 p.m east coast uh, it'll be 9 p.m. on the continent or on a boat if uh, if it's Alistair. So uh, let's see what let's see what happens, and uh, I'll, I'll give you an update later, guys. Stick around if you want that. Okay, guys. Catch you later.